Welcome back students to the fifth chapter of 10th standard geography natural vegetation and wildlife. In this lesson we will cover the natural vegetation and wildlife of both India and Brazil and also compare them. So far we have studied the location and extent, physiography and climatic conditions of both these countries. Now in this chapter we will see how these factors affect the natural vegetation and wildlife of these places. So do not skip or omit any chapter. Follow the order that is given in your textbook so that you understand the concepts well. Now in this presentation we will cover the natural vegetation of Brazil. Moving ahead with this chapter, let us first understand what is natural vegetation. Plants that grow naturally without the interference of man. That means man does not cultivate anything. Plants are growing naturally and adapt themselves to the limitations of the natural environment. That means just as we adapt ourselves to the natural environment, okay, the environment around us, if it is hot, we wear cotton clothes, if it is cold, we wear woolen clothes. Plants also adapt to their natural environment. The best example here I would like to give is of that, is of the cactus plant. The cactus plant survives in the desert by using this adaptation technique. Okay, and left undisturbed by humans for a long time is called natural vegetation. Okay, so in simple words, plants that grow naturally without the interference of man adapt themselves to the limitations of the natural environment and left undisturbed by humans for a long time is called natural vegetation. Now, we are going to study different types of forest in this lesson. So let's understand what is a forest. The natural growth of plants, shrubs, trees, scrub, creepers and grass in a region is known as forest. Forests are the natural habitat of animals and birds. Now we all know forests help in maintaining the balance of the environment. So now that we know what is natural vegetation, we will be able to understand this lesson even better. The growth of natural vegetation depends on two important factors. Sunlight and rainfall. Topography, climate and soil also affect vegetation. Density of trees that means number of trees and types of vegetation or forest change according to the changes in these factors or we could say climate. Depending on the vegetation and types of forest Types of wildlife also differ. So now we'll study the vegetation of Brazil. So if you remember, we've studied, we've already studied this diagram in the previous chapter. In Brazil, rainfall varies due to physiography. So if you see in this particular diagram, we've already seen that the northern and the central part of Brazil receives maximum rainfall. In most parts of the equatorial region, it rains throughout the year. So this is the equator. So in this particular region, in the equatorial region, it rains throughout the year because here we have the convectional type of rainfall. Okay, and here in this region, there is hot and humid climate. So it rains throughout the here. As one moves away from the equator, the number of rainy days, so as one moves away from the equator, the number of rainy days as well as the amount of rainfall, that is the quantity of rainfall and the number of days reduces. 
this affects the life cycle of the vegetation too so we've already seen that physiography and rainfall okay sunlight and rainfall are two important factors which affect the vegetation of a place so the physiography of Brasilia and the distance from the equator of would affect the vegetation in the in this place of your textbook in figure 5.4 they have mentioned types of forest in Brazil so now we'll study the different types of forests that are found in Brazil so the first type of forests that are found in Brazil are known as equatorial forest also known as evergreen forests also known as tropical rain forests due to abundant sunlight and sufficient rainfall we find evergreen forest in the amazon basin in the northern part of brazil they receive more than 2000 millimeters of rainfall there is a thick growth of vegetation because of the hot and humid climate these forests consist of tall trees and broad leaves the tree density is so high that they have to compete in order to get sunlight and so they grow tall this we can see in this figure the trees are growing tall in order to get sunlight some trees are as tall as 90 meters sunlight does not reach the ground as branches of the trees block its penetration therefore it is dark in the lower portions of the forest so this is the aerial view of the equatorial forest if you see this is the aerial view and if it's pretty dark here inside if you go to see therefore it is dark in the lower portions of the forest as a result one finds only parasite plants in this zone rubber mahogany rosewood Pa Brazil etc are found here there are as many as 40,000 species of orchards in these forests orchards means flowering plants hardwood of the trees marshes unhealthy and sickly climate innumerable insects frequent floods lack of transport routes etc are the factors due to which commercial utilization of this place has limitations even human settlements are few in this area you may get a give reason as to why human settlements in the amazon basin is less we move on to another give reason brazil is called the lungs of the world now why brazil is called the lungs of the world now if you go to see this is the map of brazil and this is the tropical rainforest which is shown here in green so this is the equatorial forest or the tropical rainforest or the evergreen forest we all know that plants produce their food with the help of sunlight water and carbon dioxide they take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen evergreen forests are found in regions where there is heavy rainfall throughout the year hence there is thick growth of vegetation here because of the thick vegetation in evergreen forests of brazil large amount of oxygen is released in the environment and there is reduction in the levels of carbon dioxide hence brazil is called the lungs of the world forests are the tropical grasslands these grasslands are called savanna and they occur where rainfall is moderate between 900 to 1500 millimeters approximately the savanna is a rolling grassland with scattered trees and shrubs so we see in the adjoining figure okay we see scattered trees and shrubs okay and this is the rolling grassland 
So if you go to see in this map, if you see in this map, the savanna or the tropical grassland lies to the south of the Amazon basin. It lies between 24 degrees south to 35 degrees south latitude. On to the third type of forest known as temperate grasslands. Temperate grasslands are found in areas receiving 600 to 1200 millimeters of rainfall approximately. They are found in temperate regions. They are also known as pampas in Brazil. The location is extreme south of Brazil. As these grasslands are colder and drier, the grasses here are shorter and less dense than those in the tropical grasslands. Trees are almost absent here. So if you see in this in this adjoining figure, okay, we see the grasses are shorter, they are less dense, okay, and we hardly see any trees, we do not see any trees here. So if you refer to this map of Brazil, Pampas lies to the extreme south of Brazil. This type of forests of Brazil are known as swampy lands. It is a natural region and the world's largest tropical wetland area and also the world's largest flooded grasslands. Rainfall is between 1000 to 1300 millimeters. Also, rainfall is not much here, but because of the river Paraguay and its tributaries, this area is flooded. So, if you if you go to see, okay, this is Pantanal and this is Mato Grosso do Sul. The location is to the southwest of Brazil. So, the location is to the southwest of Brazil. So, this is the swampy forest. Okay, this is one picture of the swampy forest and this is the another picture of swampy forest. Here we see alligators. Most So the swampy lands, they are mostly within the Brazilian state of Mato Grosso do Sul, but it extends into Mato Grosso and portions of Bolivia and Paraguay. The fifth type of forest are the hot deciduous forests. They are found in areas receiving 1000 to 2000 millimeters of rainfall. Trees mostly shed their leaves in dry season. So if you see in this adjacent figure, we see trees shedding their leaves in the dry season in order to avoid, in order to avoid loss of water. They are found in areas with warm moist summers and cool winters location they extend along the atlantic coast of brazil from rio grande the norte in the north then southwards through the states of rio de janeiro and sao paulo to rio grande do sul in the south and inlands of inland as far as Paraguay. So here we have Paraguay. So till here, if you see, this is the hot and deciduous forest. We now move on to the last type of forest known as thorny shrubs. They are found mostly in areas having rainfall less than 500 millimeters. Okay, so here if you see, Okay, they lie in the northeastern part of Brazil and this is the area covered by thorny shrubs. So location as I told you, dry interior of the northeastern Brazil. Katinga, also known as white forest or white vegetation, refers to the generally stunted, somewhat sparse and often thorny vegetation. So this is the picture of thorny vegetation okay they are stunted you could say somewhat sparse means less in numbers and often thorny this 
dear children, we have come to an end of our today's presentation on Brazil's vegetation. Hope you've understood. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.